All right, so in this question, we're going to do problem 6.25, which is from the end of chapter 6. Uh, this question is similar to the problem that you had in your exam 3, in which we have to find the equivalent impedance. So equivalent impedance here, if I call this impedance number 1, number 2, 3, 4, and 5, if I start from the right, I can say that Z1 is in series with Z2, right? So that would be 15 minus J10. Then this 15 minus J10 would be over here in parallel with Z3. So here I'm going to have, if I call this ZE1, Z equivalent 1, so Z1 would be in parallel with Z3 and then we have the rest of the circuit. All right, so over here I have, I still have my four Z4, Z5, here Z3. So now I can say that ZE1 is in parallel with Z3, so ZE1 in parallel with Z3. And that means that 15 minus J10 is in parallel with J5, which is my Z3. So if I want this <coughs> parallel um, impedance over here, what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get what? It is 15 minus J10 multiplied by J5 over 15 minus J10 plus J5. So in the numerator, I'm going to get 5 multiplied by 15 is 75 J plus 50. J multiplied by J is negative 1. And then I have a negative <coughs> sign there, so it will be positive 50 over 15 minus 5j. So if I divide, uh, multiple, actually, if I take out a 5 in the numerator, I'm going to get 15j plus 10. And if I get a five, take a 5 out from the denominator, I'm going to get 3 minus j. So 5 and 5 will be canceled. So the parallel of these two would become 10 plus j 15 over 3 minus j now this parallel that we found over here and z4 and z5 are all in series now so the total z that i'm looking for z total is equal to 10 plus j 15 over 3 minus j plus z4 what was z4 is j25 negative j25 and z5 is j20 plus j20 okay so now what i'm going to get i will have 10 plus j15 over 3 minus j minus 5j. Now, I can take the common denominator over here in order to have 3 minus j. Now, <clears throat> in the first one, we have 10 plus j, 15. And the second one would be minus 5j multiplied by 3 minus j. So then my z total would become in the numerator, I have 10 plus J15 minus 15J. And then I have 5J multiplied by J. It would be negative 5. So minus and minus would be positive. So we're going to have negative 5 over here. Right? So we have negative 5J multiplied by negative J would be positive. Positive and then the negative. Yes. So we're good. 
and then over 3 minus j. So these two will be cancelled, so we're going to be left with 5 over 3 minus j. And if I multiply and divide this fraction by the complex conjugate of the denominator, I can get rid of the j in the denominator. So we're going to have 15 plus j5 over 3 to the power of 2 is 9, and then j to the power of 2 is minus 1, so it would be plus 1 is 10. So we're going to have 15 over 10 plus j5 over 10. over 10. For some reason, it got disconnected over 10, okay? And that is equal to 3 over 2 plus j over 2, okay? So this would be the total impedance that we found over here. So the other question, similar to this would be your question one in your exam three that is also problem 6.26 of the book and you have the solution on campus all right so i'll stop this video here and then i'll continue in the next video